Okay, so first I want to get straight what the numbers are with AI relationships because we keep hearing in the news about the explosive rise of AI relationships. And so I just want to level set how many people are having these sorts of things, how popular are these companies, and where is this going in the near future? I would say it's safe to say a billion people are engaging with AI companions in some way. Wow. Now, a lot of that isn't in the Western world and in, in the U.S. A lot of that's in Asia and China specifically because of this really popular app called Xiao Yise that has, I think, last reports were like 700 million downloads, <laughs> right? You combine that with, uh, you know, 100 million or two between Character AI and Replica and now all these other smaller apps. And you get a very diverse global population of people that are curious, and many of which are like engaging over long periods of time. And what kind of AI relationships are these billion things? Are they friendships? Are they romantic relationships? This is kind of what defines AI companions is they're not coming in as a task-based agent. It's not somebody there to serve you. It's entertainment or it's somewhere that's some, you know, it's an agent that's there to be your peer, right? So um, people come in, Xiao Yi says like, pitched as a, you know, a female kind of teenage friend replica as co-created. You get to decide what sort of agent you want to talk to. Same with character. Um, but all of them are, you know, there's no practical reason to engage. It's all user directed. It's all about like whatever you want from the agent and your imagination. So what do people want? Do they want relationships like a, a romantic relationship, a person they... Literally imagine if you met somebody on the street, you would size that person up and be like, what do I want from this person? Maybe I want a romantic relationship. Maybe I want a friendship. Maybe I want a bit of both. Maybe I want to like, you know, be tutored by them. People get multiple things from these agents and the overlap is insane. Right, I've I've talked to um, to students and to users that use their replica as a best friend, a friend in their pocket late at night, a journal, a mirror, um, just software they call it. They also use it as a tutor, and then they also have sex with it. What does that mean? That means that they're sexed, right? They'll they'll have a romantic relationship, and sometimes that's overtly sexual, and they're they're engaging in like erotic texting, and sometimes it's um very subtle and very romantic. Sometimes it's, you know, not at all overt or what's, you know, adult. It's it's a very kind of psychological romance. Mm -hmm.